Hey there YouTube and welcome to this video from a card show at the Robinson Mall. So they were having some dealer tables there. Not a whole lot there of tables, but you know, I was able to find some good stuff. So I went down on May 14th, 2021. That was a Friday right after work. And then I went back on Sunday, May 16th, 2021. So they do have some more shows that will be coming up. So not next one's not going to be until September, but you can see they got one in September, which that's also the mainline autograph show. Got two in October. They got one in November. It's put on by Joe's Sports Cards. So I believe if you email them, they can get you on the little email chain to remind you about these events. But anyway, I went down on Friday. May 14th, and who knows when this video is going to be shown, seriously. Uh, there's no way of knowing when this video will finally be shown. But I'll go in the order with which I paid here. So I went ahead and I bought 41 vintage baseball cards for $40. Mostly for TTM purposes. That's the majority of what these will be for. And I did put them in alphabetical order. So I got some Bob Aspermontes, got some Burt Campanaris, Ty Klein, George Culver signs. I don't know about the others. Tito Francona, that's personal collection. Got Don Kessinger, Claude Osteen, Gary Peters, Ralph Terry, that's more personal collection. I think Etta Cost. Now we're into the Pirates. I think he signed. Some of these are just personal collection, though. You know, some of them guys are not around anymore. Max Carrier, obviously. Gina Simoli, not around. Not around. All right, Dave. Justy. He just... Mm, I didn't get around till filming this for a while. He just passed away yesterday. I'm kind of dating when I made this video. Because who knows when this video is going to be shown. So rest in peace, Mr. Grant. Mr. Mudcat Grant. Dick Grote. Vern Law right there. That's going out. Al McBean, O'Brien, I believe, is still around and signing. Amos Otis, rookie. Ted Savage, Schofield. Skinner, good stuff here. Good stuff. Like I said, like, you know, some of these people aren't around anymore, but some people will be TTM. So, 41 cards for $40. <laughs> then the same seller, there was like $13.50 worth of cards here, sold it to me for $10. So we got Bob Skinner. Jim Lomborg, there's the chicken! So, you know, just TTM purposes mostly. Both of them sign. Schellenbeck, Tommy Sisk. I think he signed, but I could be wrong. And there's just Jack Morris, rookie. Two bucks for the PC. And then at the very end, uh, there was a person with dollar boxes. Seven for five, so I got seven. We got the Jackie Bradley, rookie. Jay Bruce, rookie. Jeff Carson, well, he was a pirate, so got a rookie of him. Nice little Roger Maris TCMA. Russell Martin rookie. Andrew Miller rookie. And Joey Votto rookie. So that was what I got when I went down on Friday, May 14th. Then I went back down Sunday afternoon on May 16th. And I did really stinking well. And you'll see what I'm talking here. You know, people... Talk about so and so being like card experts and whatnot, and really knowledgeable of card. No, no, you get some dealers who have been doing this for decades. They know what they're doing. And this one person had binders by team sets. Gave me a piece of paper. You know, I've bought from it before. I said I trust you. I'll put you on the honor system. You know, the pricing were on there. I got $44.25 worth of cards for $44. There are 73 vintage cards here. And we're talking, you know, TTM purposes. So these are by years, not by player. And uh, pretty much, you know, the overwhelming majority of cards here are for TTM purposes. 73 cards for $44. And condition is pretty darn good. Those other 40 I showed you, condition was not all that as good. But these ones are good. That's personal collection. That's his rookie. So, you know, you want to stock up on some vintage baseball players. I just found a, I did it right. I definitely feel like I did it right. 
purchasing from people who, you know, have been collecting forever and they know their stuff and they're willing to give you a little bit of a deal too. You'll see. Doc Medich. I mean, I am so set on TTM Fuel from players from the 90s, but, you know, to get cards from the 70s at a good price and be able to pick them out and not be stuck with all this extra stuff, that's great. But after this, I do have some, like, really good ones to show you here. So uh, please stick around for a moment because... I'm not sure if both of the players signed, but there's a particular two cards from the 1960s set that are, you know, kind of air type cards. Uncorrected air, I'm, I'm sure. And I got them both for a little project piece. I hope they're both around still, and I hope they're both signing. If not, I'll gladly send to one if one of them's still signing. All right, so then I got seven kind of scratch and dent cards for $6. Uh, that's PC right there. Dagnabbit. That's, that's such a shame he just passed. Got so from the same seller still. These nine oddball vintage cards would have been twelve seventy five, but sold for twelve. These Milton Bradley cards. I actually didn't know much about these until the uh, Mangini collection. Talked a little bit about them. Talk about people who know their sports cards. <laughs> Yep. Look at those. Those look so nice with some ink on them. And the price was reasonable. Very, very reasonable prices. That is a really nice cut Bobby Shantz postcard there. That was just for the Gary Dunn. Alright, so this next one I'm going to show you. The one behind it. $8. And it's pretty sharp. And, and truthfully, he actually ended up selling it to me for less than that like the whole thing should have cost you know like seventy dollars knocked another five dollars off which means i got this card for three ignore the price tag they ignore that price tag we got the jc martin which is also the air gary peters air so this is going out but look this card really is sharp that's cool all right, another seller I went back to had a quarter box, one I got from before, and got 27 quarter cards, which would be 6.75, and four dollar cards would be four bucks. So 10.75 charged me 10. So you know, TTM fuel mostly. A lot of these chickens. These are the rookie cards too. That's dang. It's a great deal right there. Quarter a piece. Just real nice sig silver edition signature card there. That's cool. There's something for Dick Perez, who I've never sent to, believe it or not. Nice. Has a nice Storming Gorman there. Rookie. All right, these were a doll. These are the four dollar cards. We got Barry Bonds. There's that John Moreland seventy five mini. Dave Stewart rookie, Andy Van Slyke rookie, and the very last card. The guy tossed in for free. I kid you not. Because I told him all about the story of how you know you got Gary Peters and J C Martin. They're switched. I'm going to send them out to get autographed and uh, ignore the price tag. Ignore that. <laughs> it was three bucks, and he literally just you know told go, go ahead have it. You know, wish me well. You, bu you go to card shows, you meet the same people, they're good, you know which ones are good ones after a while, and sometimes they will just hook you up, and that's exactly what happened here. Um, I'm so excited about all these cards I ended up getting, and, you know, so much TTM fuel, a little bit of PC, but, you know, the biggest thing that I'm really going to do is I got a little project I need to work on now, so... I'm hoping they're both still around and that they're both still signing because that would be awesome to get both of their signatures on each card, which is, I believe, what they do. So, uh, yeah, this was my autograph recap or my trading card recap from the show. Big 
the Maoist, good stuff here. So uh, who knows when this video is going to get shown. In fact, hopefully a lot of these cards are signed by the time you see them again. So I upload a TTM video every Monday, and I also upload autograph or trading card videos such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I upload three times a week. I would greatly appreciate if you'd like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below. What was your favorite? What do you think? Take care, everybody.